I told you met me at the boutique and bought me that gift. How dare you walk in here? I see. Well, well, well. It's amazing, isn't it? It's amazing. So, you're the man that's been lost enough to my wife, sending her beautiful and secret gifts. And you have the effrontery to walk into my home, sit down uninvited, light your cigar, laugh at my face and tell me I'm a lucky man. Really amazing. I do hope you know what you've stepped into. Young lad, I am a captain of companies. airline, a shipping company, an oil exploration and marketing firm. See my young man, when a man of my caliber walks into your house, then you must know that this is not a game of lust, fooling around or extremely absent-minded. Is that so, so what I tried to say here that you came here to see me and not my wife? Sweetheart, I need this man to leave this house this minute. Patience, my darling. Patience. Let's hear what he has to say. Let's see if he's a, a fool or a fool. Consider me, Nida. See me. 
I am way out of that. Where reasons are judged only by what is seen and assured than what is actually intended or motivated. I do not understand. You wouldn't. The still young man, very strong, with all the time to experiment, fell and starts all over again without any hindrance. Ah, uh, consider me a big family friend. And that is exactly what I want to be. Except that your wife felt that a family friend without your consent is uh, like committing sin. A family friend. A family friend that lusts after my wife and sends her expensive gifts. A family friend. Oh no, my dear. I wouldn't put it that way if I were you. So how would you put it? Rather, I would say a family friend that was attracted by your beautiful wife just to change your life and uh, fortune. How do you mean, please? It's all right. Oh, my God. You seem to be forgetting something. Oh no, it's for you and your wife. Remember, I am just a family friend. Strange days. <laughs> hey, he brought your jewelry. He actually wanted you to have it. Look at that. Wow. And 50,000 Naira. We are returning it. Returning it? Why? Because you don't know him. Oh, come on, sweetheart. Man is trying to be a family friend. Besides, what? you know what? Let's just leave him. He'll get tired and then he'll realize how childish he was. You know we don't need such friends. But honey, you know we need the money. Come on, man. Okay, you know what? Let's just say this is the price he has to pay yeah. for disturbing our privacy. No, no, no. no. Huh? I don't, I don't believe this. I don't believe this. I don't believe this. Hey, honey. The man has got to eat. Oh, my dear young man. You are welcome, Mr. Mr. Williams, Williams, no, sir. I see, I see. Perhaps you don't know what honor it is to have you right here. So, what can I offer you? Nothing, sir. I'm fine, thank you. No, you must have something. No, I'm fine, sir. I'm fine, thank you, sir. I'm okay. <laughs> Mr. Williams, every day of my life is a celebration. Uh, what about a champion? I was under the impression that this is supposed to be an official meeting. <laughs> My young man, you seem to be in a hurry to conclude the meeting. So what do you do? Well, sir, I... I have two degrees. One is a master's and... Uh, my kind of job is yet to pop up, so I'm still searching. And I'm very sure your quest will be made with success. Especially having a pretty woman like Christy. Your profound interest in my wife is really beginning to make me jealous. First, uh, and perhaps respectful of my presence. You must really love her. Yes, absolutely. I love her. Absolutely. And she's the most beautiful thing in my world that money cannot buy. <laughs> Mr. Williams. And I have the money. I want to buy. What did you say? I'm making an offer. Now, let's 
sit as me. I know what I'm about to say will annoy you. But like a man with a business motive, the annoyance will soon go down. See, Mr. Williams, I have an expensive hobby. That is, I find it difficult to look the other way whenever I see a beautiful woman. A woman as pretty as a wife. You know what? I guess we should just call it a day. You're boring. 500,000. I beg your pardon? Just for a night. Never, never ever in your life you show your face to me again. Have you ever heard of the lifestyle of the rich and the shameless? Some who die with the name and uh, some die nameless just for the same gain and pain. Walk out of that door. No, no, no. Well, I'm checking the job market and the papers, though. See what he has for me. Okay. Um, we have a function at the governor's office today, so I left Yam and Stufa in the kitchen. Thank you. That's so sweet of you. I'm off. Oh, Bye. come on. Just like that. Not even a kiss. Um, no, 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 I, I decided to forget about it. Good. See ya. Bye. just get her off my mind. But you have had many just as her. Oh no, come off it, Joe. You speak from a blind mind's point of view. I've not tested anything like her. And strange enough, it's not out of hunger or mere lust anymore. I see myself uh, emotionally getting attached to her every day. Is that why we have to drive up here every morning? So you can just look at her. Joe, you're still young in emotions. See, Joe, I wake up every morning dreaming, thinking, and fantasizing about her. Her smooth skin, her soft nature, her graceful eyes and lips that brings out the real man in me. <laughs> 
but she's married boss. Oh no, that makes it more interesting. And perhaps that is what has held me all this while. Mm. Well, her husband is still young and temperamental too. He's a nobody. He is a nobody. If you say so, boss. Such pretty thing that is meant for the rich and prudent like us should not be left for a dog like him. Should I follow boss? No, don't do that. Just go and tender my offer. So. Yes, yes. Who is that? Take those day house now, M class day house. You're lying. <laughs> oh boy, ah, no, 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 this thing is not good now. Nah. I go do you like this now. Nah. <laughs> Let me just talk to you again, three cars now. Nah. Now nah, just forget me, abandon me like I that. Don't forget you. Not be like that, bro. Ever since I married Christy, that my school babe, all of that just abandon us. Not you. Not good to I am based in Abuja, you know. Uh, did Charlie tell you anything about the estate and property development business in Abuja, Wari, Porakot, and Enugu? He did, he did. He told me, and I've been what? running around. Running around for what? Running around for what? Listen, the business is so lucrative. All you need to do is raise three million. Three million. We will push you into firms and ministries, as well as banks that need extra to be developed and be sold. Brother, man, I, I'm, so, I'm just a job applicant. Now, who would I raise that kind of money? No friend is willing to help me. Financially, there's a limit a friend can help you. Personally, I would have loved to help. But right now, my physical cash is tied down on property. It's the same thing Charlie told you me. Understand. That's the same thing Charles told me. But, brother, it's not easy. Though. No, sir. No, sir. No one for now except your father can give you such an amount freely. You need to try hard with yourself. I mean, you once had a job and you lost it. They should understand. Man, forget about my family, man. Let us my family. He is not everything in the world I believe in today. Money is not everything. Money is not everything. Money is not everything. In the world, give me, give me my back. Don't break it. Don't break anything. Don't break anything. Put it down. 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 Put Drop those things and don't break them all. What is going on here? What, what's this rubbish? Are you are you asking me, Mr. Williams? Or should I be the one to ask you? But no, no, I made some payments to your agent. Hey. Yes. How, how much did you pay him? And for how many years? Whatever it is, I made some payment, landlord. What's this? Uh, that is why I'm moving you to the boys' quarters. Oh, I see you, cousin. Eh? Look, I am a very considerate man. Your tenancy agreement with me gives me the right to eject you anytime, any day. Look, you are owing me three good years. And 
just managed to pay for six months after selling all your property. Oh, but landlord, landlord, no. At least you, you, you know my situation. You, 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 you know my predicament. Why are you doing this to me? I'm still going to pay you now. This is not fair. You don't have to do this. I'm fair. I'm being very fair enough. You see, I am an old person here and depend on the proceeds from this house for my medical bills, maintenance, and family expenses. Therefore, I am renting the main building to a new tenant. You and your baby wife can stay in the one room boys' quarters until your situation improves. Then you can go and look for a house elsewhere. Now, Lord, please now. Eh, please, at least we can, we can do something now, please. Quick, 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 quick. bring all these things out. Bothered, no, sir. What do you expect me to do? You have to be strong for both of us. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm trying. Look at our situation, for God's sakes. Look at our situation. Is this progress in life? Sir, we still have each other. This is not the life I planned for you, Christy. This is not my dream. I don't care. I don't care. You're all that matters to me, Nosa. We share our properties, run our friends, and so we can clear up this place. Your people, your, your, your family, they'll, they'll laugh at us, man. <laughs> they'll mock us. God, I have failed. God, I've failed, Christine. I've failed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you know what? First thing tomorrow, you know what I'll do? I'll go to Francis, your cousin. I'll start up that job at the bakery. I'll do it for you. Because you deserve better than this. Well done, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. I was trying to inspect my machine. Uh... No doubt you're a very hard-working man, sir, considering how you started. Huh? Every man has to work very hard in life. So what can I do for you? Oh, I, I came in respect of the job um, you told my wife about. Uh, tell your wife, please, to give it to you. I don't understand, sir. I told your wife two months ago about it. And you were like, I know, sir. Big Nossa to work in Francis Dirty Small Bakery instead of executive job in the bank or your company. It's not like that, sir. It's, it's not like that at all. How is it like? Because things are now becoming difficult. You've now remembered me, my Francis Little Bakery. Perhaps if you had gotten a job in the oil company or in the bank, would you have remembered me? Would you have remembered my bakery? Oh, sorry, sir. Do not be offended. You see, it's just a, a communication gap. Huh? It, 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 I, I didn't say it like that. I, I didn't well, say it like however that. However you put it, you can come back next year. Somebody more serious has taken the job, and he's such a dedicated staff. I can't fire him. Sir, 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 please. I beg you. I promised Christy, and Christy is your family. Please, do something for us. Yes, the best I can do is to... Give you two loaves of bread for breakfast tomorrow. Oh, yeah, about. Yeah, good job. Oh, uh, okay, Francis. Oh, 
Sorry, man. I'm really sorry. I I had so much on my mind. I absolutely forgot that uh, we had moved to the voice quarters. Please forgive me. I'm really sorry. Yeah. That's okay. It happens sometimes. Yeah. Um, someone brought a letter addressed to Nusa Williams. Are you the person? Oh yes, please. I am. Yeah. Excuse me. Um, a job application, I mean, a job interview or offer. Because I've sent over a thousand um, applications. It might be from a company. Yeah, yeah, most, most. Thank you. All right. Sleeping again, what is it? I hope it's not about my cousin Francis. What would make you leave me, Christine? Leave you? What are you talking about? Sweetheart, I've told you to get this sad situation off your mind. I'm going through an inward emotional conflict here, Christy, and it's only you that can save me. Save you? What is the problem? Do you love me? Yes. How much? If a man walks up to me and points a gun at my head and says he will shoot me dead right now if you do not sleep with him, Christy, would you do it to save me? told me you did not see the Baron. Kristen, please, try and understand. What Get your hands mean. off me. You scare me. What has come over you? You want me to sleep with a man because of money? You, my husband? 
my love, my soulmate. Christy, 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 Christy. I can't. God, I, I, I can't. Christy, think about it, man. It's just for one night. Just one night. This is our big break. The exact money I need to start off my life. I can't. I am not a prostitute. I hate you, Nusa. Why are you doing this to me? Why? What happened to our love? The values we cherished? Nusa, money is not everything. Are you look going? at us. Just look at us. Look at this rat hole we're living in. I'm a laughing stock amongst my friends. Why? No one, Christy. No one will give me that money. Our life is not heading anywhere. Christy, you can get that money in just one night. Please, I beg you, Christy. Please, just do it. With this. my body. With my body, my husband. You're telling me to do it with my body. Your temple is seen that will remain with me for the rest of my life. Christy, the only reason why we do not have children is because... We can't afford to take care of them. You know that. Christy, this is an opportunity. An opportunity of a lifetime. An opportunity for me to be like my mates. Christy, please. Listen. No. Three million now no. get us out of this mess, Christy. No, Think I about can't. it. Help me now. Christy. I can't leave me alone. Christy. No, Christy, for the sake of our children, our future. I talk to Nusa. I chief Dominic Oconta to go and talk to that little boy. You must be out of your mind. Uncle, please don't be too hard on me. We're really passing through a hard time and all I need, all you need don't is... get it, do you? What about what you need? Ever since that devil entered into your life, it has always been what he need. What about you? Ah. Uncle Nosa is my husband. I made a choice. You made a choice? And now you need my help. Ah. What happened to your self-prophesied love? Ah. Look at you, Christy. Just look at you. Because of Nosa, you spent almost six years on a four-year course. That boy is a dreamer. Wrecking your life and you know it. Uncle, please, I'm begging you. You're the only family I have left. All I need you is... You don't a... know what you need, Christy. Huh? I am advising you to reconsider now there is time. There are men out there that will grab you within 24 hours if you're ready for a new marriage. I don't need another marriage, Uncle. Well, stay with what you got yourself into. I am sorry I am not going to talk to you, sir. Yes. Where are you coming from? From my uncle's place. What did you go to your uncle's place to do? 
I went to my uncle's place and he gave me this 50,000 naira. He gave you 50,000 naira? Did I ask you to go and beg him for money? Did I ask you to go beg him for money? I didn't beg him for money. He just gave it to me. He just gave you. He just gave you fifty thousand naira. I didn't beg huh? him for any money. You didn't beg him for money. How am I even sure this is not from another man? No. Huh? I swear to you, no, sir. I didn't beg him. He just gave me the money. He gave me what? Ah! He gave me what? <laughs> huh? Come, come, come back here, my friend. <laughs> Where are you going? It's weekend tomorrow, isn't it? Let's go get your three million now. You have... You have decided to do it for me? Are you ready or not? Oh, Christy, God! I'm so Get your hand off me. Christy, this is the for... The earlier the better. This is for us, Christy. For our future. Our home. We all have to make sacrifices in our lives sometimes, you know? It's unfortunate that fate has forced us into this. But I'm sure time will heal the wound. I'm proud of you, okay? Let's go get your three million naira, no you know so little of faith and sacrifice. Christy. You know I love you, don't you? Um, let me go clean up. Mr. Williams, you're a wise man. Um, I have no doubt that um, you fully understand our transaction. Should your wife withdraw, you will not only refund me, but with a hundred percent interest. And should anything by any means harm her, I will kill you myself. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Nothing of sort will happen. I guarantee you. In fact, um, this moment uh, should be a life-changing happiness for us all. The money and cut the crap. That is $25,000. No doubt it's more than $3 million. Just take it as a bonus.
I will return her to you tomorrow evening. More redating than what I found her. My soul and spirit is with you. This is just my body. It dies and decay. Not look at my greed and loss, but at the happiness that you, gentle, pretty creation of heaven, will give to me, upon which I've paid all this high price. Oh, it's an honor! It's an honor, yeah. You will not find my conversation or talking to you interesting, Baron. I really hate you. I never believed in love. I do not believe in what I don't see. So where do we go? Any place in this country. <laughs> Why? What happened to our love? The values we cherish. No, some money is not everything.
Where is he? Tell him I want to see him. I'm, I'm sorry, we, we just left with the lady who came here earlier on. What? Yes. Then tell me where they are. Tell me where they are. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Tell me. Okay, give me his cellular number. Give me his mobile number. Stop it! I don't know. And I don't have mo Chief's mobile number. He only gives it to his close associates. Until I'm dying, the whole public is going to be on my feet as you. Christy, what is wrong? Why are you crying? I weep for a love so betrayed, a love that could not stand the test of time. Love that could not stand the test of time, patience, and sacrifice. Christy, love is merely an imagination of how sad and happy every little child would like his romantic life to be, generally in books and movies. In reality, it doesn't exist. exist. Your lust for my flesh has torn my life apart. The love between my husband and I is lost. Christy, nothing is lost. choice was made to the benefit of everybody. A choice that destroyed my whole life, everything I sacrificed for. <sighs> Whatever I do, do for love. Christy, money is everything. Money is the pillar of every man. I love my husband so much that I will do anything for him. What a lucky man he is. Yes. He brought my soul here to be murdered, abused, just because of three million naira. Three million naira. Cursed. Cursed to be the day. Very much. 
I don't really know what to say. I wish, I wish I could find the courage to speak on how remarkable your wife is. But that will take me a whole year. I wish I could speak about her, her love, her sacrifice for you. Speak further. Do not speak further about her. Never again in your life. Mr. Williams, the money. Please keep it. I do not need such money. Money is not everything. I've sinned against the soul. And I hope she forgives me. Even in death. Mr. Williams? Money is not everything. In the world I believe in today. Money is not everything. Money is not everything. Money is not everything. In the world I believe in today, money is not everything. Listen when I see that money, money is not everything. Money is not everything. Money is not everything. Money is not everything in the world. This is my lawyer, Barista Akuma. What is that? I invited him to prepare our divorce papers. I shall inform the children of their new status when I get to London. So, Miriam, you will do no such thing. I am now a changed man. I have learned a new thing, and I've seen it. That new thing is love. I should have noticed it in you. You had it all this while. But I was blinded by the wicked world. Miriam, I love you. Madam, please, listen to your husband. I believe him. I think you should believe him too. Please give me the chance to acknowledge and reciprocate. Please, give him the chance. Please. <laughs> I must say that the lessons I've learned from both of you. No amount of money can buy it. As I stand before you now, I know in your minds, you might be saying that this devil incarnate has come again. 
No. Both of you are God sent. My life is changed. My family is saved. And I've finally found love in my wife. I have a token gift for you. And please, don't refuse it. I know I could have given this to her in the first instance without being stupid. Please, take it. Ten million naira. Ten million naira? What for? Another proposal? Yes. A better proposal if I may use that language. You are going to start a new life. But this time in Port Harcourt. How do you mean? You and your wife are going to head my oil exploration and marketing firm with the Dutch company in Port Harcourt as the new executives. Please, don't say no. I must say, I am very pleased with you. Not because you have changed my life or because you have given me this wonderful opportunity, but because I try to kill my wife, my love, my heart. And you saved her for me. I thank you very much. According to the doctor, if not for the fact that she partially blocked the knife strike, by now I probably will be standing before her grave wondering to myself what I have done. I want to thank you. I thank you very much. Destiny, my son. Call it fate. Sometimes things have a reason for happening the way they do. Especially when there is love and sacrifice. Your wife, Christy, taught me that. Have a nice life in Port Harcourt. Call me as soon as you get there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. And still have 
love and happiness To have a good name Is better than to have riches There is no point having mine When one cannot be happy yeah. Money can't buy love Money can't buy peace Money can't buy happiness yeah. Please take my advice And believe me When I say that money Selling your conscience from money. 